All right, got a whole lot to go over here. So here it is. Oh, jeez. Okay, I think I got it under control here now. And uh, we're gonna go over all this today. It's a Shop Carl's Extravaganza, all from their holiday special. Their sales where they had items for one dollar. How much did all this cost me? Twenty-five dollars. Twenty-five bucks for all of this fishing product. How much is it retail? Well, we're gonna compare that and take a look at it, and that's coming up on Live to Fish. Everybody, welcome or welcome back to Live to Fish. And uh, if you're new to the channel, do me a favor, hit that subscribe. Don't forget to hit that like, leave me some comments, and make sure you smash that notification bell so it lets you know when Live to Fish puts out new videos. Today's video is going to be all about taking another look at the Shop Carl's Carl's Club membership. Now, some of you remember when I did a video that was very critical of the Shop Carl's Carl's Club membership. Now, the Carl's Club membership costs $49 a year. The Carl's Club membership also has an insurance policy that allows you to claim lost lures, destroyed lures, broken lures, and get a free replacement. The catch is you have to at least have an order of $25 or more to be eligible to have the new lure under the insurance program sent out to you. Even so, when I first jumped on board, the discount that they had on the Guggen baits was worth it to me. I go through a lot of the toads, a lot of the bandito bugs, and uh, that was something I was really, really, really stoked about getting. But then they changed that uh, discount, kind of reduced it quite a bit, and it really was more like just paying retail. So to be honest with you, I had every intention of not renewing that subscription to the Carl's Club membership, and along came their holiday sale. Now their holiday sale hit me by surprise completely. This is something that uh, they offered every week one lure specifically for one dollar shipped that's right for carl's club members you got it for one dollar and that was one dollar shipped now some of these baits would go anywhere from five to six dollars plus shipping so at first when it started i was kind of like well yeah i'll take a couple of those i haven't tried those yet Ooh, i've had those in my arsenal before oh yeah i definitely want some of those um and it, it ended up being just what you saw earlier a ton of boxes being delivered on a weekly basis. So I'm going to unbox everything for you and show you exactly what I picked up for each week of the sale for $1, what the total cost was, and what the total cost comparison is in retail. All right, let's take a look. So when the sale started, they have it kind of like an advent calendar. They have the week set up, the block set up. The $1 specials are not announced in advance. Every Monday, they would be announced and released. And then, of course, over the period of the, I think it was eight weeks, they had multiple items that were on sale for their holiday special. One of which was a 13 fishing combo that I got for under 60 bucks. This thing is absolutely outstanding. I'll show you that after we get to the unboxings. So let's take a look at what was offered on the first week. Go ahead and open up the first box that I got here. And it is their Plasma Tails. It's the Biospawn Plasma Tails. And as I've told you before, the Biospawn Exoswims, the swim baits, are absolute fire on Lake St. Clair and Anchor Bay, and also Harsons Island for that matter. Um, smallies love them, and uh, largemouth attack them. Pike will run away with them. That's the downside. But here it is, the six and a half inch Biospawn Plasma Tail. You can see it's got that, uh, that nice little chartreuse tail on it with the green pumpkin body. Now, this is something I'm gonna probably fish weightless. Might throw it weighted. Um, definitely gonna try this on a wacky rig. I think it'd be a, a really, really, really nice bait to throw. And again, picked up two of these. So right now we're at a total of $2. All right, so the following Monday, did it all over again. The new item was released and it was the Guggen Thick Jig. Now these are three eight ounce flipping jigs. And this is in the green pumpkin color. And these here, um, you know, they retail for almost six bucks. So for a buck a piece, picked up two of these. So now we're at a total whopping $4. All right, on to the next week where I purchased something. Let's take a look at what we see. Ooh, this box is a little bit heavier. Let's see what we got here. And of course it is my favorite, the Biospawn Exoswim. So this, I kind of bumped it up. Instead of ordering two, I ordered five of these. And uh, it is the Biospawn Exoswim. It is the four inch, and it's in the Lab Magic color. Now this is a color that I don't currently have, but it's kind of like a green pumpkin. It's different than the uh, than the other ones that I've thrown, like the Electric Shad. Um, 
very, very, very nice color. Very excited to throw this out. So like I said, picked up five of those for five bucks ship. Now you know those are going to go for at least five dollars per pack. All right, on to the next week. And what came up was the diesel football jig. Now these jigs I have not thrown yet. This is, uh, they're all the same color. That was the other thing. You couldn't pick what color you wanted. They just gave you uh, what they gave you on the sale. Now again, black and blue, this is not a bad choice whatsoever. So they weren't giving you kind of off colors or a product that wasn't selling. Um, again, this is a black and blue jig, 3 8 ounce. If you heard that, that's Hank upstairs playing with his toys. Yeah. If that drops on your foot, it hurts, trust me. Um, this is in a 4 ot hook. But again, black and blue, you cannot go wrong with this. Um, this particular product, I ordered four of these. And uh, I was kind of banking on something. And we're going to get to that in a second. So four of the football jigs. Again, another four bucks. And for the next week, it was Carl's Amazing Baits, Ribbon Tail Worm. Now these are seven inch, uh, they're referred to as a hustler worm. I do not have any of these worms currently, but let me take one of these out of the package here for you and show you. These are pretty awesome. Now it's got purple with some flake in there. It's got some dark blue and the tail is more of a uh, translucent purple, but this is gonna be absolutely outstanding out on the water. Um, when it comes to this here, Let's see, I think I ordered, yep, ordered four of these as well. So four of the worm packages, another four bucks, well spent. All right, so for the next week, we have a pretty awesome item. The Sukoshi Bug from 10,000 Fish. And now this is in the twilight color. And this has the Stretch X plastic. The Sukoshi Bug is something that is comparable uh, well, I shouldn't really say comparable. Um, it is a competitor, that's a better term, to the Z-Man products. And this would be like against the, uh, the TRDs. So as you can see, the color scheme there, pretty good. And they have, like I said, the Stretch X, which is kind of a competition to the Elaztec. Um, something I did a video on before comparing the Sakoshi Bug to the Z-Man TRD. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm also going to have a video in a tank and kind of show you the difference of both lures and how they react or how they act, I should say, when casting and how they land on the Ned Rig in the water. And that's pretty interesting. So you're going to want to stay tuned for that. But that is, uh, that is coming up from the Live to Fish test tank. So I ordered four of these. So that's another $4. Again, these go for five close to six bucks retail, depending on where you buy them at. And for the last purchase on the sale, it was, and when I was talking about that jig that I hadn't thrown yet, the diesel jig, that this is something that when this came up, I hit money. When this came up, I knew that I made the right decision in investing in those jigs previously for only a buck a piece. And in this week, it was the Biospawn Exopod. Now these here are gonna pair up absolutely perfectly with those diesel jigs. Let me take a look at this and show you. Well, first off, I'll just hold it up for you. That's three and a half inches right there. And this is the black and blue flake. Now this exopod, this is something you could fish and flip obviously on a Texas rig. Um, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pair it up as a trailer with those diesel jigs. Now you can see here, break it apart for you there. It's definitely going to be a producer all on its own. Um, it's kind of got that thicker grub type body, um, but the appendages, the little flaps, I don't know what the action is on these exactly, but we're going to have to put that maybe in the test tank and uh, take a look and see how it reacts. But let's grab one of these diesel jigs here in the black and blue and take a look and see how it's going to look as a trailer. All right, so here we have the diesel jig out of the container. It's got a nice little weed guard on there. Might trim that up just a little bit. Let's go ahead and thread this on here. Now, the only downside I can see to these jigs is there is, there is no keeper on there, but that's okay. There's plenty of brands that don't have that feature on there. 
Just takes a little dab of super glue sometimes to stick that on there. Make sure it's secure and you don't go through as many baits. Go ahead and thread that on. And oh yeah. That looks pretty good. I'm going to say that's going to catch fish. But hey, out on the water, that's where the real test happens. But there you go. Now, again, a dollar for the lure and a dollar for the jig. Two dollars, I have a complete setup. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. And as I was saying, I did pick up some other things. They did have some specials on some Guggen baits, picked up some more toads, picked up some more Amanda worms, picked up some Mary Boo hair jigs that I needed. Probably one of my favorite purchases was this Fishing 13 Origin bait casting reel. Now the reel is an 8.1 to 1 ratio. It's got a five bearing system to it. And let's take a look at this. It is black with gold accents. It's absolutely beautiful. And I have heard nothing but good things from some of you out there on the 13 fishing reels. I have not owned one of these yet. I've wanted to for the longest time. And now I can finally say for 58 bucks, I got a full combo set. So here it is in all its glory. Not bad. Oh yeah, that is that is a good looking combo right there. Check that out. Look at that. What a beauty. Got your foam grips. Beautiful. That's sharp. And on sale, I got some Seaguar fluorocarbon. Gonna be throwing it on this and uh, can't wait to get this out beginning of the season. All right, just wanted to share that combo with you. Now let's take a look at what the savings was in total for all of those $1 lures that I purchased. Grand total spent, $25. So I paid $25 for all of that, and that's shipped. Compare that to the full retail price, $130. That's right, $130 worth of lures for $25. So if you take that $25 and just add that $49 membership, you're still way ahead of the game. Now you might say, well, I wouldn't have bought all those, I don't really need them. That's fine, maybe that's not for you. But for me, this Christmas sale absolutely sold me on renewing my Carl's Club membership. Not to mention all the money I saved on that sweet gift I bought for the Michigan Fisherman's birthday. So I hope this video gave you some more information on the Carl's Club membership and why it might benefit you. If it was helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like and leave me some comments down below. What would you have purchased? Would you purchase more or less? And what do you think about the Carl's Club membership? So until next time, be safe, be well, and as always, live to fish. Take care, everybody.